what's the process of writing? How how do you advise other humans? If you, if you were to talk to young Darwin or the young young you, and uh, just young anybody, and give advice about how to write and how to write well about these big topics, what would you say? I I mean, I suppose there's a couple there's a couple of points. One of them is um, what's the story? What do I want to know? What do I want to convey? Why does it matter to anybody? And 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 very often the most the biggest, most interesting questions, um, the childlike questions are the the one that actually that everybody wants to ask but don't quite do it in case they look stupid. Mm. Um, and one of the nice things about being in science is you, the more the longer you're in, the more you realise that everybody doesn't know the answer to these <laughs> questions, and it's not so stupid to ask them after all. Yes. Um, so, so trying to ask the questions that. That I would have been asking myself at yeah. the age of 15, 16, when I, when I was really hungry to know about the world and didn't know very much about it and, and, and um, wanted, to be, wanted to go to the edge of what we know, but, um, b- but be helped to get there. I, I don't want to be you know, t- too much terminology. And so I, I, want, I want someone to keep a clean eye on what the question is. Um, beyond that... I, I've wondered a lot I've, uh, about who who am I writing for, and that was in the end the only answer I had was was myself at the age of fifteen or sixteen, um, because even if you you know you can you just don't know who who's reading it, but also where are they reading it? Are they, are they reading it in the bath or in bed or on the on the metro or, or are they listening to an audio book? Do, do you want to have a you know, a recapitulation every few pages because you read three pages at a time, or, or or are you really irritated by that? You you know, you're going to get criticism from people who are irritated by what you're doing, and you don't know who they are or what you're going to do that's going to irritate people. And in the end, all you can do is just try and please yourself. <laughs> um, yeah. and, and that means, well, what are these big, fun, fascinating, and big questions? Uh, and what do we know about it? Uh, and and can I convey that? And I kind of learned in trying to write. Um, first of all, say what we know. And I was shocked in the first couple of books how often I came up quickly against all the stuff we don't know. Uh, and if you're trying to, I, I realised later on in 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 in, um, in supervising various physicists and mathematicians who are PhD students, and I, you know their their maths is way beyond what I can do. But the process of trying to work out what are we actually going to model here, what's going into this equation, is a very similar one to writing. What am I going to put on a page? What's the simplest possible way I can encapsulate this idea so that I now have it as a unit that I can kind of see how it interacts with the other units? And you realize that, well, if this is like that and this is like this, then then that can't be true. <laughs> um, so you end up navigating your own path through this landscape. And that can be thrilling because you don't know where it's going. Um, and, and I'd like to think that that's one of the reasons my books have worked for people, because this sense of the thrilling adventure ride, I don't know where it's going either. <laughs> so the, uh, finding the simplest possible way to explain the things we know and the simplest possible way to explain the things we don't know and the tension between those two, and that's where the story emerges. What about the edit? Do you find yourself uh, to the point of this... Uh, you know, editing down to mostly yeah. harmless. To arrive at simplicity, do you find the edit is productive or does it destroy the, the magic um, that was originally there? No, I usually find, I, I think I'm perhaps a better editor than I am a writer. I, I write and rewrite and rewrite and rewrite. So put a bunch of up. crap on the page first and then see where, <laughs> well, the edit where it takes Yeah. It. <laughs> but then, then there's the professional editors who come along as well. And um, I mean, the, in, in, in Transformer, um, the editor came back to me uh, after I'd sent him you know, two months after I sent the first edition. He'd read the whole thing and he said, "The first two chapters prevent a formidable hurdle to the general reader. Go and do something about it." Yes, and that was the last thing I really wanted. Well, your to editor sounds very eloquent in speech. Yeah, well, this was an, this was an email, but uh, okay. I, I I I thought about it, and in, you know, the bottom line is he was right, and so I put the whole thing aside for about two months 
uh, spent the summer. This would have been, I guess, last summer. Uh, and then turned to it with full attention in about September or something and rewrote those chapters almost from scratch. I kept some of the material, but it took me a long time to process it, to work out what needs to change, where does it need to change. I wasn't writing in this time. How am I going to tell this story better so it's more accessible and interesting? And in the end, I think it worked. It's still it's still difficult. It's still biochemistry, but but it has he ended up saying now he's got a barreling energy to it and I, I was you know because he'd been because he told me the truth the first time i decided to believe that he was telling me the truth the second time as well and was 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 delighted